is a day that the second liberation icon, uh, that is Kenneth Matiba, is set to be laid to rest. I always avoid saying cremation. And uh, in studio, I have uh, Washira Waru, is the national coordinator, Victims and Survival Network. But for now, for now, we have a reporter on the ground who is following for us, you know, the motorcade that uh, we had earlier shown you making its way uh, from the Lee Findron home. Now, the remains of the late second liberation icon, Kenneth Matiba, will be cremated this afternoon in fulfillment of his dying wish. Now, Matiba had made his wish known to the family close to 25 years ago, saying he did not want endless fundraisers to pay for his burial expenses. Matiba joins a growing list of prominent Kenyans who leave farm instructions that their remains be cremated. Matiba's remains will literally turn to ashes within a few hours to come. Now, just to tell us more on what is happening at the Langata Cemetery, I'm now joined by our reporter, uh, Elfos, there on the ground. Uh, good afternoon, and perhaps uh, what more can you tell us from there? Yeah, good afternoon to you in studio. And as you rightly put it, Kenneth Matiba made it known to his family that should he die, his wish would be to be cremated. That was close to 25 years ago. You'll also remember that on Mondays, uh, Muranga Senator Irungu Kangata, who was part of the planning committee for the funeral of the second liberation icon, mentioned that it is official that uh, the late would be cremated. Now, the family was supposed to be arriving at the Lee funeral at about 9.15 thereabout. But again, we waited to around 11.30 as communicated. But the time that they left there was about 12.45, 15 minutes to 1 p.m. Now, the convoy uh, left Lee Funeral, headed to um, Langata Cemetery, where the remains of Kenneth Matiba is expected, uh, are expected to be cremated, rather. And um, uh, the, the event is actually supposed to happen shortly after uh, memorial service is completed. The family is going to have a short memorial service here at Langata Cemetery before the remains of Kenneth Matiba are cremated. Ordinarily, and um, we had um, Dr. David Wanjoy speaking to uh, local TV stations and journalists yesterday. He mentioned that a cremation exercise takes between four to about eight hours. Now, that occurs in a cremation tunnel uh, with use of about 40 liters of diesel. And ordinarily, again, if one wishes to be cremated upon death, they would feel 24, um, the family rather, would be filling a, fo a form with the city mortuary and paying 16,800 shillings. Now, this is a move that has really created and has caused a controversy and debate as to whether cremation is actually something that Kenyans would be willing to take. It is, as, as you put it again, uh, the number is slowly, slowly picking up. But again, cremation is not something that many Kenyans would like to take. Uh, th the situation here at Langata, um, the, the situation here at Langata, rather, uh, we are now expecting that in a few hours they would, uh, they, they would have completed the exercise. And if the family wishes, they would, uh, you know, collecting the remains that would be ashes in an urn. Now, now that is the situation here in Langata. Uh, the family now would be expecting that uh, Kenneth Matiba would be cremated. And thereafter, and I, I, would, I would like to mention that again, that this is, this is a private affair that the family have really wished. Uh, now, once the, the cremation is completed, they would be, you know, moving on to uh, the next exercise, whether to keep the remains or to dispose as per their, uh, as per their plan. Now, that is the situation. Matiba would be remembered as the second liberation icon. That is what we've gathered so far, and I would like to take you back to studio. Thank you very much, Alphonse Langat, for that update from the Langata Cemetery. Of course, we're going to link up with you within uh, the program. And that update from Langata Cemetery Tech's news desk to a very short 